fix it a little bit. So um, she's just got a little bit more touch up and then it's sealing. And then I have to figure out how to screw her down into her base so that she'll stand up without having to use a ton of glue. Uh. Her, footprint, her footprint is very, very small comparative to like the size of the base. So I don't have a lot of space to put glue on it to hold her up and she's top heavy. So I'm going to put a pin that goes up into her foot and down into the base to help stabilize her a little bit. Oh, it's like the one I bought from you with the wings. Where just basically the yeah, ball of her foot touches the uh, the base. Yeah, very much that. Only gl Glix is like twice the weight because of how thick she is. Well, because she's sized yeah, up, right? Kind of thing. Yeah, she's she scaled up. Yeah. Hey, base. I'm, I'm really happy with how her bow came out with the galaxy on the back. Yeah, that's fine, base. People do it all the time. Feel free. Yeah, that's totally I'm fine. Happy with her. I, the goal is to have her done by Sunday night. I, I want to work on her tonight a little bit, but I have to color my hair and do my nails and have my suit pants <laughs> to get ready for tomorrow. So, so depending on what time the wedding's over, I might come home and stream anyway. I don't know yet. Oh, you're welcome, base. Yeah, feel free. And actually, if you do the etiquette command, that now leads to the video I'm in that is on Twitch's creator camp. Um, ooh, this is lighter than the other one. I need a little bit more black. There we go. Um, Because Twitch asked me to do that video after a lot of people were sharing my etiquette piece. And so it's myself and a UK creator. Uh, because we talk about thing, we do talk about things like, you know, slang. There are certain things that are fine in the UK slang wise that probably would not work here. Um, but if you do medium, if you search medium cipher of tier etiquette, you should get a link to the actual post. Um, but yeah, feel free. Um, I know Panda uses it. DJ Knight has it. Um, he just calls it at need. He doesn't have it on a timer as far as I remember. Um, but yeah, anyone who likes that article, you are more than welcome to use it. Feel free. Yeah, I use that one and I go back and read it like once or twice a year just as a refresher because there's a lot of good info for streamers there and not just audience members too. Yeah, I need to go back and look at it because there are things that have now changed with Twitch. Or just in general, things I've noticed, like trends I've noticed of the way people act in certain streams. Um, you know, like I had to go back, I went back and added don't beg for gift subs. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand your, your question, Bratlin, because I... I only go to conventions if I am on panels. I don't go just to go. So do you mean just to go as a fan of something and then hang out? Or do you mean to go like as someone on panels or what have you? Because I, I have a very different con experience. I'm not going just to go, if that makes sense. Oh, it is a chore. When you are going just to be on panels or just to work, it can be an absolute chore. Um, C2E2 2020 is probably the last time I went to a con where I was not on a panel. And that was because a lot of people came into town like Mandy, uh, I'm sorry, Lady Luck, Urban Bohemian, um, Big Wired, Jamie, all of them came into town. So it was more like seeing my friends than necessarily even going to C2E2. And there are a couple people there that we no longer talk about. Nice. I just, for me, that's just, it's so ironic and it's so weird. What? That that's the con for all of that because that was before I really knew everybody. And I was at a con across town. Like I went to the Crit Roll live show. And all y'all were there, and I had not met any of you yet. Um, mm. But then I was at a different con, but Briar and our oldest were at C2E2. 
Oh, okay. It's, it's, wild to me because right after that is when I started getting more involved with Twitch and when I started to meet all of y'all and all of that kind of stuff. So it's like, wow, everybody was right here and I was right there. Ah, I see. Uh, when is your RGB stream? I'm booking mine some point for Thursday because I have no panels on Thursday. Is the only day I have no panels. No, that's fine. She had a slot on Friday, but it was too, it would have been too hectic to do the stream and then dash back in, dash back to the panel room for my evening panel. And Discord reached out and, want, and they're doing a thing. I'm like, I'm not a Discord partner anymore. I don't know what you're talking to me for. Okay, so you took the 2.30 slot. I was going to take that one, but I'm like, it's too close to my panel time. So I uh, I did not take that one. Just because I wanted enough time to do a proper stream. I'll see if I can pop in. Cause I think my other stream on my other stream, my other panel on Saturday is five, four. I mean, Ren has been to cons, but Ren is also in the UK, so I have never been to a con in the UK. I've been to one con in Australia as a guest. And again, that was work. It wasn't for fun. So, and I don't know if Pirate's still here is back in work hell. Um, but I think while you were up. You, I could not hear you. Uh, Pirate left for the office while you were ah, up, I think. Okay, no worries. I'm having, I think I'm having problems with my microphone all of a sudden because people are having trouble hearing me. I'm wondering if when the power went out during the ice storm, if something shorted my mic. I don't think so. I can hear you just a little low. It could be Discord, too. Oh, that's possible. Because remember, I stood up and did nothing, and my mic switched on its own. So I'm with DC. Cons can be fun, but you need to have a plan and a backup plan and self-care and booked in. And also be perfectly fine with not seeing and doing everything, mm -hmm. especially if the con is one where things are streamed and you can go back and watch VODs later. Because I feel like a lot of people get really sucked into, I need to see and do everything, especially if it's their first con ever. You absolutely do not. That's why I say for anything I'm doing, if it's streamed, just go watch the VOD later. Because also you can just get hit with tired. I was talking to Bronze Girl. Uh, well, Ren, I mean, are you talking about people just having bad breath or being unattractive? Because if you're talking about people being unattractive, I'm going to give you a ding. Because can't help how you look. Glenn, ¿qué tal? Yay! Enjoy Destiny. Did you get the new expansion or are you catching up? Because if it's people not knowing how to, like, you know, maintain dental hygiene, I am 100% behind you. Because there's some people I'm like, I know it's like 2 in the afternoon, but please go buy some gum. Please. All right. How's Jerry looking? I don't know what to here. Yeah, I don't know what to do with his skin tone. Oh, yeah, that. Eh, así, así, como se dice, siempre cansada y también. Oh, God, I forgot the word for busy. Like, I'm tired and busy, but not like the busy people assume. I need to speak Spanish more often. I've forgotten so many words. I like, actually picked up, uh, I finally turned Duolingo back on to start trying to get my Spanish back. 
Yeah, but I'm like, Eugenio is there, and I could speak Spanish with him. Do I? No, because I'm a terrible friend. Can Sali see Akubala? You know, I used to speak way more fluently, and now clearly it's all gone. Because I used to work in a... For those who don't know, I used to be a lunch lady. Like an actual CPS white outfit uh, hairnet daily making food for a bunch of kids lunch lady. I did not know that. Yep. I used to work at... I, I did that for a long time until I decided I'd need to go to college. Mainly because I was tired of making lunch lady money because it was not good money. And I was like, I know I'm in my 20s. I'm still going to go back to college or start college, rather. I didn't go to college until I was 25. And it took me 12 years to finish. I went 18, when I was 18 and 19 and right after I turned 20. And then I had to drop out for reasons. And I didn't go back till my 30s. Ah. Uh. I feel like this brown rose might work for his skin tone. Because I don't yeah, like I elfic warmer, flesh. I think a warmer color would work. With that like rosy undertone, especially against all the white and the browns. Yeah, this is brown rose. I want to see how it looks, though. I've never used it. I think this is one I have not opened. It may have been in the skin tone pack, though. I don't remember. I turn around and look because I have the skin tone pack sitting here. It may be from the skin tone pack. I honestly don't remember. Oh, oh, that's a little that's a little pinkish. If I add a dab of brown, though, it might work because it's a it's a little pinky. It's like newborn baby pink. Yeah, it is. It is very pink. Um, it is from the skin tone pack. You can actually I use that one a lot to mix in as a as a uh, as like a base tone, and then I use either the lighter or darker flesh tones um, to balance it out. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to mix a little of this. I know it's leather brown, but I'm going to mix these two. Oh, hi Black Wolf. Yay. Uh Black Wolf is usually in DJ's channel. Uh but since I have phone verification on, it is a slight barrier because they don't allow um they don't allow phone verification through like Google Voice or anything. Okay, this should be, I mean, it's a little brown for Geralt, but that's okay. He got some sun while fighting monsters. He'll be okay. Gotta get that vitamin D. I mean, there's not, <laughs> it is, it is newborn pink. That's like the pink that brand new out of the oven babies look like. Because I've, see, I've seen pictures that my friends post of like their brand new baby and a whole hour old photos from the hospital. I'm like... Could you maybe let that child, like, be outside the womb for a couple days and, like, finish unwrinkling? Please. Yes. That finish unwrinkling is the, that's the perfect description for it. Because I have my newborn photos and they're, like, an hour after I was born. And they are not cute at all. I'm like. Why did y'all take a picture of me looking like that? Like, this baby looks like they, they just came out of a French press. Oh my god. What? Am I wrong? But I will say brown no brown rose, absolutely newborn pink. That's the exact color. I mean, and you know, like I'm I get it, you're happy this small bundle of joy is is here and out you know, outside with the rest of us, but I'm like that child's going to grow up and see this picture on Facebook in like 15 years and go, why did you embarrass me? Yeah, everything's so got to show everybody everything now and everything is content. I don't think it's even content. I think like I'm thinking more like Facebook photos, not so much the people that like document literally everything they fucking do online. Gotcha. Because I've seen people where it's like, I honestly did not need to know this much about you. Like ever. Ooh, I missed a whole patch of his beard because I didn't flip him over. It's like, I'm glad for you, but please let that child unwrinkle. Let them be done out the oven. 
Oh no. Oh no. I was three weeks early, so there are not a lot of photos. I don't think there's any baby photos of me, which is fine. I was two and a half weeks late and not much else has changed. Wow. You told on yourself I am, there. I am chronically late to a point that if I have something scheduled, I have to like remind myself I have to be there hours earlier. Have I told you the story about me and my sister having the same due date? Maybe. My sister and I had the same due date. Um, two years apart. Only I was two and a half weeks early and she was or I was two and a half weeks late and she was two weeks early. So our birthdays are exactly a month apart. Wow. I just decided I was going to be a Leo and that was just going to be it. Yeah, I'm an Aries. Well, I was supposed to be a Taurus for those that believe in astrology. Um, but I was three weeks early and had to get put in an incubator because I was early. Must have been tiny, tiny. I was very yellow and very small. And uh, I know that I've said this, and hopefully this is not traumatic, but because my mother was a young, unwed black woman, they did not give any amount of a fuck about her feelings and told her to go home and get ready to grieve, because they basically thought I wasn't going to make it. So I came out the womb ready to be spiteful. Yeah, I mean, they told her, basically, go home, get ready to grieve. And I'm like, wow, cool. DJ can paint it himself. He's got he's got model paints I sent him. He knows how to paint minis. I have sent him minis and paints. He said he just hasn't done anything on stream yet. Because his the studio space is not set up for that. Yeah, I sent him a gift of uh paints a while back. I think it was one of the D and D sets. So he's got mini paints and minis, and I sent him actually that same store that I that I got Geralt from. I also bought the Commander Shepard mini, or bust. I think I painted that one, but it's it's not on the desk because I moved it for the Hero Forge stream. And if I get to do a Hero Forge stream again, I now have two separate cameras set up. Because OBS and Windows does not like the same model of camera being installed. I had two Brios, no. and Windows is like, I will only acknowledge one of them. I had that same problem with my C922s when I first got started because um, I didn't have the DSLR until actually pretty recently. Um, so with the C922s, we had to do so much hacking of my computer to figure out how to get them both to show. They had to be on separate USB ports. We had to go in and, like, I think we had to rename one of them. Yeah, see, I wasn't doing all that, especially not for guesting on a stream, but the way, so where this Mevo is, I just, I basically just swapped the Mevo and the other, the other Brio. But now, should I ever, for some reason, want to have a face cam while I'm painting minis, which would be useless because I, it would be just a camera of me constantly looking down. I mean, it is what it is, but it was 1973, and she was a young, unmarried black woman. They didn't care. It, you know, they made assumptions, I'm sure. And, you know, nothing has changed. In fact, it's probably worse now, because look look at who's in charge. And I, yes, I know that Biden is the president. Honestly, that doesn't mean shit, because he lacked enough of a spine to let Roe v. Wade be on to let Roe v. Wade be overturned. And then not do anything about it. When they had the majority. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, we do talk politics on occasion. I am not afraid of politics to discuss them. I wonder, actually, I wonder if DJ's on because he mentioned streaming something today 
Although I thought Fridays were his his planned day off. Maybe he's just making up stream hours. I don't know. Yeah, I know he, like, Friday I thought was his planned day off. But yesterday when we were playing Destiny, he mentioned uh, streaming today. So I don't know if he met Monday and was just, didn't catch himself. I've done that on occasion where I meant a different day but said tomorrow. Yeah, I've done that before too. What is time? Well, like, don't you mean you're right? I absolutely did mean that. I am wrong. Sorry if I'm tilting Geralt away from you all. I'm trying to get like the edge of his hairline. And also, now that there's um, paint on his face, I can see where the scar is kind of embedded in the print. And I can also get like the rest of his eye socket and then go back and fix the white of his eyes. Um, it is 3D printed. I bought it off Etsy because this is resin. I do not have a resin printer. I have a FDM printer, which is basically the, when you see the spool of, of filament, I almost said thread. Oh my God. When you see the spools of, of filament, those are FDM or those are FDM printers. I'm, I don't remember ever what FDM stands for. But um, when you see the printers that basically have the spools of filament, that's an FDM printer. And resin are the ones that are liquid. Um, Bri if Briar was here, he could explain it way better. Or Panda. You can, because there are how many? Is a big, uh, what, how many we have? Uh, the 10th, the, uh, what you call it, the anchor was the 10th. Yeah, but resin is the big one with the tank, and you've got to, like, rinse it off. And mm -hmm. and you have to cure it with light because it's all UV. Um, it's very temperature sensitive. I mean, the FDM printers are temperature sensitive to a point, but not as finicky as resin is. Uh, resin you can get a lot more detail with for the most part. Um, but it's, it's a lot. It's the process of getting a print is a lot more. Which is why printed minis sometimes will cost what seems like a lot, but you're paying for someone to do all of that for you. Because getting a print right is a lot of work. And there's also the risk of even if the print's perfect, it's got to get from point A to point B. And if there's temperature stuff going on during shipping, it can crack. We had somebody get a delivery and uh, the resin didn't cure properly on the inside and we didn't realize it and it exploded in transit. Oh no. Uh, it was printed hollow, but there was just a couple of drops of resin inside of it. And then after it got sealed up, because when we print something hollow, that's like super heavy or super large, um, it gets drained and then you have to seal up the hole. So there's not a big hole in the mini. And there was like just a couple of drops of resin in there. And during shipping, it heated up and it exploded the mini. Oh no. I've had it happen with one that he printed me. It exploded in my desk. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun to clean up. I've had dice not cure properly. I can imagine a whole mini. Ooh, I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm seeing all of this white that I missed for his beard. Yeah, we're going to have all the uh, all the FDM printers running pretty soon for a thing. We're just waiting to get the files. Mm. I don't know if you saw it or when Pirate had shared it, but it's a, um, it's a collapsible gaming table. Uh, DJ told me about that. Yeah, uh, Briar decided to back it, so we have we'll have the files for it shortly. Um, yeah, DJ told me about it. Did he? Yeah. Uh, he wants to try this new filament that's out there that's actually made with real wood. Oh. Mixed in with the PLA, so it, you can stain it. Oh. Huh. So we want to do hey, like Emily. a tabletop in that wood and try to stain it to match like our uh, tables in our living room. Oh, wow. That'll be dope. 
And it's super sturdy too. And I'm very amused because they used a, a Gloomhaven. They used one of the Gloomhaven games to sit on top of it to show how much weight it can hold because those games are really heavy. I mean, didn't you get Frosthaven so the box was like 40 pounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have Frosthaven. Frosthaven, it was a 38 pound box. And Gloomhaven is like 26 or 27. Yeah, one of my friends that works on it, they're like, oh, just tell us when you want a copy. I'm like, I don't have the room for that. I hope you know. Hello, Emily. How are you? Welcome on in. Yes, we're still working on Geralt, although I'm getting toward the end of my endurance. Yeah, the box is about the size of like four or five board, like regular size board games. Oh, I've seen the Gloomhaven box at Painting Pirates. It's a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to get like some details down and then the next. So I'm torn between a break, like do some work, eat, come back like toward afternoon and either do more Geralt or do Power Wash Simulator. Because I watched Pirate clean the like Shinra robot and wasn't that like an hour and a half of actual time? Yeah, it's something like that. There's some of them that the games are very, very long. And he did not finish uh, the bar at all. Thank you. I'm uh, I'm gonna do a little touch up on the silver bits because now I'm seeing where I didn't get to the edges and I can fix it. And then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to see who's on because I am getting hungry to the point of distraction. Even though I made like. I made and inhaled that peanut butter sandwich earlier. Tengo que ir pasar bien. Bye. Get the or tengo un día. I was like, I know the right thing to say. Why is it not in my brain? Between pirate and herb, I bought it last night. Yeah, uh, I watched Brian do the, uh, I grew up on this fucking game. Laura Croft. Tomb Raider. Um, yeah. I watched Brian do the Tomb Raider one. And Pirate playing the, uh, the Midgar expansion. I have to see if the game updated. That's the one thing I didn't check. Because my Steam doesn't always update. Uh, Tomb Raider did it for me, and then as soon as Herb said it's available on Game Pass, I'm like, done. I'm just going to download it. Well, I didn't know it was on Game Pass. or I mean, it was... And note, I'm, I say this knowing that for some people, $20 is a lot of money. But it was only 20 bucks. Hey, welcome back, Zero. A lot of content for 20 bucks. Yeah, I try to be mindful of that stuff because, again... For some people, $20 is a lot of money, so I try to not be flippant about, oh, it only cost X. Although I'm in a groove with Geralt, so I'm also kind of like, let me get these little details. I'm sure you and Zero and Pirate know how that goes, where you're like, I'm in a groove. I don't want to stop, because if I stop, I may never touch this mini again. Yeah. Lix's shirt. I was so nitpicky about making sure all of those folds looked exactly the way that they were supposed to look, that I really wanted them to look. I spent 13 hours on that shirt because I just got in the zone and wasn't looking at the clock. So, I mean, I can understand that, but, like, at no point did bodily function or hunger enter the equation? Uh, I think I stopped to eat at some point, uh, but it was, like, late afternoon and I had already eaten lunch. And I had a bottle of water sitting here, but I wasn't, like, just drinking it. And I might have gotten up a couple of times to run to the bathroom and come back. But I would come back and sit down. And I'd pro- I think I had your stream up. And then you rated somebody. And then Neuro rated, got rated into. And then Neuro rated somebody. And by the end of the night, it was, like, 1 or 2 in the morning. And I had just been sitting on the raid train the entire time. Just listening to people while sitting here painting. And completely checked out to everything else. I think... Princess wasn't home. I think she was at a sleepover. B had to work late. And I oh, so there was no one to even go, did you eat? Did you sleep? Nope. Well. See, that's the dangerous part. 
And see, I live alone, so there's no one really to ever go, hey, so uh, did you did you eat? Did you sleep? Although I am also, I'm tired. I'm going to bed right now. Have you done that with uh, drawing, Emily? Where you're like, why is it three in the morning? What happened? Oh, do you know uh, Kitchen, Bratlin, and, or should I say, do you all know each other? Is in whatever context of no that means. Yeah, but it's like now that I've got this silver and I don't want to waste it, and yes, I know it's a wet palette, it'll save, but my brain is like, but you could finish parts of this. Oh, yeah, zero. Oh, go ahead. Regardless of which palette I'm using, I do that all the time. Like, oh, I have this paint mix, so I'm just going to paint. Well, I also know, at least for, like, the, the dark brown, I know it's two parts brown leather to one part black. So. Oh, okay. No, I just wondered. Um... Because sometimes I'll be in chats and people seem to, like, know each other from other spaces. And I'm like, oh, cool, people know each other. Let's see, now I've kind of hit a groove and I want to keep going. But I'm also, I'm also quite aware of my stomach going, excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me. W I would like your attention, please. I think that's one of my pitfalls, too, is because of my ADHD method, uh, medicine, it's an appetite suppressant. So sometimes I don't even realize I'm hungry. Mm. So I'm just working, and it's like, oh, I haven't eaten in, like, 12 or 13 hours. I should probably get a snack. Hey, Nix. Oh, I will eat. I'm going to – I've actually still got the other half of my peanut butter sandwich, which I'm going to put – I'm going to put uh, Geralt down and greet Nix and then uh, – Eat, fin inhale the rest of that. Hey, next, what were y'all up to? We have a panda on voice. Hi. Oh, Shine Gamer, how are you? Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Ah, uh, I got you. I mean, I never know who knows people, so I just don't assume. Uh, but yes, ignore the sandwich in your periphery. I'm just going to get a bite. Because I was like, oh, yeah, peanut butter is good protein. Panda, tell people who you are while I inhale this piece of a sandwich. British Panda. I'm one of Cypher's friends and mods. I uh, do a lot of crafting content here on Twitch. I am awkward. I am panda-sized. I'm queer. Uh, mini painting is going to be the order of the deal for the first part of March up until streaming for Survivors. And then I go back to uh, cross-stitch for at least that week. Um, I'm doing something really fun for Weva for, I don't know if you heard about it, Cypher. I'm going to uh, embroider or stitch their logo. And then for all of the donations, we're going to put like little stars and people's names on, on the piece and then mail it to them at the end of streaming for survivors. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're, are you leaned away from me? I'm leaned a little bit away. I'll lean back in. I don't know what's going on with my microphone. Normally it picks up so much better than that. Yeah, I think something really got jacked up with with the power outages because it started the day after that. I would I'll say because I discovered because this is a problem I had with the with the Yeti X in Windows. Windows was dropping it to zero, even though OBS and everything else was fully was at a hundred percent audio. It was oh, Windows is, itself. Windows closed my microphone program that I have to keep open to keep all of my settings. Good job, Windows. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Seeger. Um, yeah, because what was happening is my mic would just slowly go down to zero. And people were like, what's going on? I'm like, I would, and then one day I watched it as I was talking go from 100 and just drop to zero. And I had no idea why. I'd wild, and that should be so much better now. Yeah. Well, basically, Windows, something got borked with a Windows driver, with an audio driver, or there was a conflict between 
the built-in audio drivers and then what the microphone was trying to use. Because again, audio is the final boss of everything. Mm -hmm. Is that better, y'all? It should be. I mean, um, I just thought you were leaning away because you were crocheting. I Well, I was leaning away, but normally my microphone can still pick it up because I have a set. It, they're, so with the Shure mics, they oh, have come their on own in. Um, exterior uh system that you can use that can adjust for how far you sit away from your microphone and somehow it just closed oh and it's i normally keep it open all the time because the settings have to be done through the app oh come on in zero oh dang now but i missed a whole strap on the back of his armor well are you done howling at the microphone now dog are you seeker's angry because ripley is in his bed that sounds like a problem. Sounds like a him problem. Do we have a zero? Yes. Hi, Joe. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. What you doing? Well, I was doing the last mission of the Lightfall campaign, but I kept dying because evidently my Titan is Peter Parker, Peter Parker on methamphetamine, and I kept getting flung off the map. Oh, no. So I'm gonna I wait. don't love that for you, but that is very funny. <laughs> I'm going to wait until I can do it with someone. Okay. Because it was super frustrating to die to gravity and not any enemies. I mean... Well, I mean, I have a headset mic that I'm basically almost chewing. So it's... I keep moving it, so if you hear my mic tapping around because i i get very self-conscious on the off chance i people can hear me breathing on mic and it's a me thing i know it's a me thing but no i'm the same way yeah well, no i i feel that too it's i think it's a streamer well i've also We're been also like yeah well i've also been on like even just meetings let alone let alone streams where i'm like I'm glad that you brought your mic closer, but I need you to, like, I almost want to say stop breathing, but could you, like, move your mic away just a bit? Not anyone here, but I've had to say that on calls, like, in in ye olden times before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Although someone did take that as I meant stop breathing, and I was like, that's a you problem. I didn't like them, so I may have been literal and let that slip out. <laughs> hey, Ashen Works, thank you for the raid. Yeah, there. You know, like how you have that one person where you're like, if you didn't show up tomorrow, I would not be upset. Not necessarily you don't want them to die, but you just don't want them around you. Like if you caught a cold and didn't come to work tomorrow, I'd be cool with it. Hey, welcome on in. What were y'all up to? No worries. Enjoy that work, Lurk. We have been working on Geralt the whole stream. So I'm going to I'm going to dab some more white and try to fix some of the that and then we're going to figure out what to do. But what were you up to, Ashenworks? And next, what were you all up to? Just chatting, crafting? Oh, nice. Wait, Bungie collab on Among Us. Oh, yeah. They oh, no. uh, released a bunch of costumes and like a Destiny 2 <laughs> pets like worm familiars and things like that. Oh, okay. I might have to hop into Destiny later then. Um, I need you to like just give me a dab of paint. That's all I need. Um, also, this is the red grass palette that finally showed up after like seven months. Hey. Yeah, between the mail strike and whatever else was going on. I mean, they were lovely. They were like, do you want to cancel? We'd understand. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I was just like, I thought maybe I'd lost it. It had never shown up. But then I realized I had not moved since I placed the order. Oh, nice. Um, I've been, I've become a hunter main. So that that is where I'm at now. I am really trying to get Briar to get back into Destiny because he keeps talking about wanting to, and I'm like, I have people I know who play now. You're not alone. Yeah, I mean, long as he's fine with, you know, a little a a little silliness, but also b people that 
are lapsed Destiny players coming back? Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, he hasn't played in ages, and he I don't think that he would care about the silliness or anything like that. He just, he was always like, I wish I had people to play with, because he just, I can't play. I wish I could, but because of my <sighs> disability issues, I can't. I become a really serious hindrance to people, so I prefer to just watch and cheer everybody on. See, Ashwork said, come play. Also, normally I don't do this, but because I'm reading chat on my phone, I don't think the plugin works, but can we get a quick pronoun check only if you're comfortable? But I, I just realized I can't see the pronouns because... I'm on my phone with chat, so... Yeah, unfortunately. Really wish that Twitch would just hire them and make it a native thing. Yeah, but one it, one person making an add-in that's web-based versus a whole company adopting it, there's a whole lot more to consider. Yeah. Although, you know, I can't talk about what we talked about at the at the product partner thing, but that was something that did come up a lot. Um, basically, people were like, this is a product I would love to have natively. And again, if people are not comfortable, that is A-OK. I don't want anyone to feel like... Hi, I should have said that when I introduced myself. Oh, yeah. He, him. She, her. But I know some people are like, why? And not in a bad way. It's just they're not used to it. And so I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable, but... Um, as we all three of us do say, we ask people to share pronouns so it is normalized and people do not feel self-conscious if they do not use he or he, him or she, her, because not everyone is binary. Yep. Actually, I think I'm going to level a warlock next because I'm not a huge fan of the Titan ultimate with Strand. I have not seen that yet. It's uh, because uh, Grim was playing with us, but I don't think I saw because we started Nightfall with DJ or Nightfall Lightfall. Good lord. Um, but I don't think I managed to catch it when um Grim popped his ultimate because he he had brought his his uh he had brought his Titan. Titan main. I love being the tank. But I think just for utility purposes, I'm going to level up a warlock next. Thanks, y'all. I mean, I have a repetitive stress injury in my wrists, and I sometimes need to wear braces. But it's not as bad as, like, keeping me from being able to, like, paint or game. But people also don't seem to understand that the muscles you use in gaming are maybe different than what I need to use, like fine motor control with this versus fine motor control I need to play a video game on keyboard and mouse. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, they're significantly different. Yeah, but as we've seen, some people don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. For me, I find it's even different, like, painting and crocheting, and you would think they'd be really similar because they use a very similar grip, but they're completely different. Yeah. Okay. This is where it gets super fine, like, painfully fine, because the scars on his face are just literally two lines. I'm looking for the smallest brush I have. Oops. I, now that this camera's here, I have to remember not to reach in front of it. Because I surely was about to reach right in front of the camera. Oh, I reach in front of mine all the time. But it's like here, so I feel like I'm absolutely blocking it if I use, do that. Also, I, my, I'm my i seeing on my phone there is still like a, a significant... Not gap, what's the word? Delay. Yeah, I just need to be mobile too, because mobile I always have such a much longer delay than anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I without intending to, I'm almost done with Geralt. But uh who Yeah. 
Uh, I I want to do more, and I think the next time I think what I'm going to do is uh, I think Fridays, depending on like schedule and other stuff. Um, I think Friday mornings are going to be mini painting, especially if I'm up early. Be red. Um, if I stop talking, it's because I'm trying to get this one line of red. And not overdo it. It's like trying to put on eyeliner, except one tiny little piece. I just realized that's something I could do a fuss at Kelly about. Because she's like, I can't finish my, my Majora's Mask. And I'm like, you also can put on makeup. And I just realized that. The mask is very cool. Yes. Oh, Zero, you may need to do a fuss at Kelly. So. Uh, she didn't want to finish her mask because she thinks it doesn't look good. And she... Yes, I know. So we're going to do a gentle fuss at her. And Kelly, if you're still watching the stream, I'm going to do a fuss. I thought it was looking badass, honestly. I know, right? Yes, there are, there's a, I had a lot more, but I cleaned off my desk for a, a stream I did with Hero Forge. So yes, this one, uh, Painting Pirate, got me a set, and I'm the worst friend because I've not finished them, but this is one of the more finished Space Marines. Um, so, I need to like either make a decision because I also want to start Kratos. I did not think we would do all of Geralt today. But again, I'm on a roll, so I kind of want to do more. But except for his eyes and touching up the white and a dry brush and a wash, he looks kind of done. I have some ultramarines. Yes, I have some ultramarines. And I'll, I'll take a photo. But what I'm going to do, though, is... I'm going to paint this in a stone gray, and that'll probably be it. I'm going to paint that in a stone gray and then do a dark do a dark dry brush on it. Because I thought about a dark, but then the, the wolves wouldn't show. The wolves wouldn't. Um, what's the word? I don't think the wolves would come out well. It wouldn't pop. Thank you. That's the word. Oh, I... I don't know if I – I didn't make a conscious choice. That is a beginner uh, set the Painting Pirate got me, the Ultramarines. Uh, he was very kind and gifted me a Commander starter set because I mentioned one to get into Warhammer. And because he's an enabler and also a great friend, he sent me the the Commander starter set for Christmas. I actually have Black Templars I bought on my own. Um, I'm going to leave the white out. Oh, that case looks so nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the intermediate set zero. Oh, do you want? Yeah. The, the, I forgot the leather brown was from the other one. And the dead white goes in here. So actually, let me put it back. So the leather brown, banshee white is from this one. Um, leather brown was from the beginner set actually, which is surprised me. So yeah, pirate sent me, um, a commander starter set and on a whim at my local game store, when I was there, I bought, um, a black Templar set, but that is my, I know now how to assemble these things and it's not going to take me 20 years to assemble everything. Uh, if I could interject, I will say this is a really good time of year to be painting them because it's March and March for McCrag is a thing because McCrag blue oh, is yeah. marine color. Oh, um, so there's a lot of people that work on their their space marines, especially their ultramarines in March because it's oh. a big hashtag March for McCrag. That's part of my decision to switch gears a little bit as I kind of wanted to work on them because that's what I did with them last year when I started mine. Oh, um, okay. Now I have a whole army of ultramarines that need to get painted. So. 
Where is now, my gray? My pile of shame has increased significantly because, again, painting pirate is an enabler and uh, looped me in when he <laughs> hit the Kickstarter for Steamforge games and their animal adventurers. Oh, no. So now I have all these adorable animal adventurers. Yes, one of them is a llama. And I get oh, no. To, yeah, I get to start picking my way through those now. I know I had a, a stone gray. Where did it go? And I'm looking at this side because I know it was on this side. And it's like, I see sand gray. White. Golden. And I know I, because I've used it recently. Sand gray. I might use a sand gray, but I might have to have a nip nop fix for it. That's That's a wash. Literally. But no, I had a um I had a stone gray that I've used and I cannot find it right now. Unless it got swapped with the turbo dork that should be not be there. Or it's in front of me. And that's a wash. Ha I'm smart. Look, I spent 20 minutes yesterday looking for a bottle of pink paint that had just rolled over in the drawer it was sitting in and I didn't see it. Well, the thing is I knew I had just used it. So that's what was irking me even more because I'm like, I literally just had this. Um, so this is going to be a big brush because I'm, I'm painting the whole base in the stonewall gray and I'm going to let it dry. And the next time I touch this, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Uh, do some like effects on it, I think. Like something to make it look a bit more stony, like a either a dark wash or a dark dry brush. But this is like a stone gray because it's supposed to be a pedestal. Now I want to paint this. This is a problem. What? Zero being influenced? Hey, I'm an influencer. I I made you want to paint hey. this. Um, We're all terrible enablers of each other. It's just this vicious cycle. Uh-huh. Yeah. I want to do that. Do it. But it costs money. But will you be happy? Yes. Yeah. It's like I know one of the first things after we complete this move, we get settled down and money frees up. I'm going to be like putting in a big order with Briar and Panda. I'm going to be getting stuff like you're painting now. I'm going to be a problem. And Hank, shipping will be so much faster. <laughs> right? Even though it's already fast, for some reason, whatever we send to you gets there so quick. I know, it's weird. Like, I think we've literally had orders that we shipped to you and Tanya on the same day and yours showed up before hers. Yeah. Uh, Bratlin, I don't know what any of that means. I'm very new to 40K, so that is like another language to me right now. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, but while I, I, I slather this in, in stone gray, uh, what's on deck for you this weekend, Zero? I got to add uh, all the foam clay to the haunted tree uh, dice tower that I'm making, finish filming that. And I'm basically going to be working straight through the weekend in the hopes that I can put out a new video next week. Yeah. Um, you're a little low and, and Panda's going to your best friend's wedding, correct? Yes. Uh, who you met, actually. Um, I'm going to her wedding. Um, it's really small. It's 30, like less than 30 people. Nice. Uh, at a local restaurant for them. They didn't want to have any like huge thing. It's a second marriage for both of them. They just wanted to kind of have family and close friends there. And I get to see all of her kids because her youngest is home from the Marines literally for 48 hours for the wedding. Wow. Nice. He's He gets deployed in like three weeks and he's going to Australia and he's going to be gone for the better part of the rest of this year. Um, 
and they were able to get him leave for the 48 hours to come home for the wedding. He flew in at 5 a.m. this morning, and he flies out at like 6-ish a.m. on Sunday. Oh, wow. Wow. They were not joking like you get 48 hours. That's it. It's literally you're supposed to be preparing for deployment. I know it's your mom's wedding. You have 48 hours. That's trash. But that's the military. I I mean, I say that also, you know, with full disclosure that I tried to go in the Marines when I was younger because that was going to be my way to pay for college because surprise, uh, they go. I'm trying to get this one fucking corner and I don't know why I can't cover it. Sorry, I'm I'm now very focused on this one corner that will not take any paint, it seems like. Um, that was going to be how I was going to pay for college, the GI Bill. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of people that end up going that route. And then, one, you know, one of the people that are opposed to the student debt relief absolutely said the quiet part out loud. Meaning? Oops. Uh, oh. He, on Twitter, straight up said, if we cancel student debt relief, how are we going to get people to sign up for the military? Yep. Remember reading that shit. I mean, a lot of what they depend on is people not being able to afford college, and that's how they mm-hmm. get them. So, I mean, that would be, I mean, that would be the only way I would have been able to afford college straight after high school. So... It, which is also part of why I didn't go to college till I was in my 20s. Um, all right, there we go. I keep wanting using this stone gray a lot, especially if something has like a base like this. It works well. Why not? Oh, it does. I'm just amused. I, I am greatly amused. Um, I'm also trying to figure out the best way to hold this so I can actually paint these like edges. Uh, we try not to use insane here and ableist language, uh, Black Wolf. If someone could throw the ableism or a- I forget if it's ableism or ableist. Is it ableism? I'll try that. It is. No, it's fine. We're all learning. You know, we all we all fail. No one is perfect. I mean, I still fail myself because I am I freely admit I am struggling with, with stupid. I still say it. And I think part of it for me is just I don't know why. It's just the one word I have real trouble with. I think everybody has a couple of them that they struggle with really bad. Stupid is one of mine. Insane is one of mine. I'm, I feel like I'm a much more mindful when I'm streaming because I'm always thinking about what I'm saying. But like, if I'm just rambling or talking to somebody who I know really well, sometimes stuff just slips out and I have to correct myself. Yeah. I mean, same. And if it's, and if the person I'm talking to is not someone who's going to correct me, it's a, it's a slippery slope back to bad habits. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's not always, I mean, it's not always physical disability, but again, it's just, it's all words that we grew up with that nobody challenged until recently. And, you know, I always struggle with it because I I, I hate people go, well, I can't say anything now. And it's like, nobody said you... I mean, you could keep saying it. We're just going to realize that you can't learn from example. <laughs> you can say what you want. Just know that you're going to be judged by it in certain quarters. And uh, and a lot of people, you know, that are able-bodied and stuff like that, that no longer are because of long COVID, now they suddenly care. Yep. I also love that argument from people who are like, now I can't say anything, and I'm sitting here as an English major going, there are now over 900,000 words in the English language alone. Do better. Well, we can't help it if they've never met a dictionary. 
I can meet one at velocity when I throw it. True. <laughs> I almost. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say there was a quote that it's relatable. There's a quote from uh, a, a YouTube creator and Facebook creator that I followed for a very long time, where she was talking the other day. She goes, "Any stone is a protection stone if you throw it hard enough or put it in a sock." I mean, is she wrong? No, she she's she's a she's a witchy creator and she's lovely and I I adore them and oh my god, it's just they said it and it was just everybody cracked up. We were I mean, all sitting in a live chat, and we were like, "Did you really just?" <laughs> but where's the lie? Where's the lie? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's it's like you know, it's time and place too, because like, you know, if it was like super moving, the bit the chat was like super busy, or I didn't catch it right away, like, well, I missed my opportunity, but I'll be on the lookout for next time. And it's also hard because I feel like some people get into overcorrection and that sometimes, yeah, like there's, there's a way to gently go, Hey, maybe let's not say that versus you use this word. Mm -hmm. I feel that way about like, and this is going to sound terrible and there's no gentle way to say it, but kind of like with content warnings where people don't even let a streamer play something for like 10 minutes before they're like, where's your content warning? I'm like, I just started this game. Yeah. And the content warning would be a, a spoiler, but also I'm sorry, but I literally just started this game five minutes ago. Well, I watched so-and-so and they had this content warning. Okay, cool. Thank you for a now being an asshole and B spoiling, whatever this is, but you could have just messaged my going, Hey, not sure if streamer knows this, but you might want a content warning for X, Y, Z. Hey, Mandy. That's why I don't play certain games on stream. Even well, with content warnings, I just don't want to deal with 